Let's continue our education on the topic of digestive tract. Small intestine is the topic of today. And small intestine is all about breaking the food into finally smaller, smallest particles and absorbing, breaking and absorbing. And breaking is done by enzymes. And if you don't have enough enzymes, then you're going to, going to have a clinical symptoms and symptoms are gassy and bloated. So in this video, we are going to talk about enzymes. At the end of the video, you will see the final slide. So when you go to shop for digestive enzymes, you look at that slide and you look at the label of digestive enzymes and say, do I want this or I don't want this? So as always with me, knowledge is power. So you need to know what to buy, but also is important for me that you know why. Let's go. Next slide is here. Digestion in the small intestine. Small intestine is large. It starts here with duodenum, then duodenum, and the ileum is where it goes into the large intestine. Also, pan pancreas and bile come here into small intestine from pancreatic gland and from the liver. They help to digest food. This is microscopic picture of our small intestine. And you can see there is a lot of glands are coming out here and uh, with enzymes. And those are villi. They increase absorptive surface in small intestine is increased absorption tremendously. Okay, now the small intestine is also long, but the surface, absorptive surface is huge. Proteins are broken down into amino acids and it's done by trypsin, chemotrypsin, carboxypeptidase, aminopeptidase, depeptidase. Fat is broken down finally by pancreatic lipase. Pancreatic lipase works only in the watery environment, but fat is fat, so it's a different environment. For that, you need a bile salts. And it's a very important moment to understand. So bile comes from the, from the liver. It surrounds the fat and holds that for pancreatic lipase to come in and actually break it down. So if fat is not broken down, all this question becomes, is this deficiency of pancreatic enzyme or is problem with the quality and quantity of the bile. Carbohydrates are broken down by, by pancreatic amylase and brush body enzymes, dextrinase, glucosinase, mal maltase, sucrase, and lactase. One more word about the lactase. I already have this video, a long video on the topic of not being able to digest dairy because humans lack of uh, lipase. Please see. So it could be salient reflux, it could be autoimmune conditions such, such as eczema, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis. Please see this video. Now, there are other products that are not digested by humans, like cellulose, because we don't have an enzyme. So cellulose goes through small intestine and arrives into large intestine. And this is the place where the bugs come in and they will help to break down the cellulose. That's bacteria done. If you don't have adequate bugs, you also will have, you will become gassy and bloated. So it's important to understand this moment that not only um, deficiency of enzymes in the small intestine is a, could be a gassy and bloated, but also the problem in the large intestine. So now we are moving with, with you to differential diagnosis, as we say in medicine, but you know, you need to understand where from this gassiness and bloating is coming uh, from. So here's the uh, gas and bloating and burping. So when person eats the food and burps immediately or right after the meal or when eats the meal. So it means that it's probably problem in the stomach. Gas and bloating means it's either problem in small intestine or the large intestine, la lack of the bugs. All right, small intestine, you know, it's all enzymes. So it's either enzymes or the bugs. So you go and you shop for digestive enzymes. Here is the list that you, when you look at the back label of digestive enzymes, that's what you are looking for. Often when I talk to my clients, I tell them, before we go into that heavy duty digestive enzymes, let's start with simple, let's start with pancreatic enzymes. And they are 
protease, amylase, and lipase. And 90% of people have been able to solve their gasiness problem just with pancreatic enzymes. Somehow, that's my own experience that uh, lack of pancreatic enzymes is a, is a, a more problem than lack of uh, brush border enzymes. Okay, guys, and that's it for today. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, ask, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.